At Tom Baines, we've had a couple of movements within our school this uh, past year. The first one was around an anti-bullying league, and what spurned from that was uh, having our own GSA group. Um, so it was really about making sure that uh, the kids felt safe in the school and they had kids to talk to, support. I decided to become part of the uh, Rainbows, the anti-bullying club, because I wanted to be more involved in school and um, I wanted to help others and I wanted to create a safe place. So I just wanted to be able to help others and have somebody, uh, be somebody who others can trust and come talk to. I've always said that bullying is a very important issue that needs to be addressed because it happens in so many schools and it's so widespread and there's not a really good way to deal with it. And then when I was invited to join the anti-bullying club, I jumped at the opportunity to help out other people. It's just so important to me to make sure that everybody has a place where they feel like they belong and I think that our Rainboas anti-bullying GSA place is such a good place for that and to make like friends and just to meet people in our school that you might not have met before. Well I thought it was like a good thing to be involved in because I wanted everyone in our school to feel supported and feel like they belonged. So I joined it so that people could have a safe place to come and talk to people. The definition that, that I've seen in bullying has, um, has really widened from what it may have been where it was back in the day where you had somebody come up and grab you and say, give me your lunch money or I'll beat you up, to a lot more subtle things that are happening on the internet. The Rainboas arrange for guest speakers and make presentations to their classmates about what bullying is and how to cope with the various forms. A lot of the time it's just kind of people that don't really understand like if, if they are bullying somebody. So I think like education is a huge, um, a huge part of bullying. So to get people educated on what bullying is and how to stop it in better ways that we can eliminate it. In order to help other victims of bullying, some of these kids are drawing on their own experiences. Mostly through um, elementary, it was uh, kind of social exclusion, um, verbal. Um, there was only a few. Um, cases that it was physical. Um, most memorably though in kindergarten um, I remember a uh, girl um, telling me that she would cut my leg off if I came the next day which was um, especially in kindergarten uh, really uh, scary. All of the students have some advice and words of wisdom for victims of bullying. You should just embrace yourself. You should just feel good about yourself everything about you is a part of you and you want to just embrace it. Tell somebody if you just keep it all inside it's really not healthy for you to keep in all the anger and the sadness and I think if you tell somebody that you'll feel a lot more supported. The best thing for them to know is that you're there for them and no matter what they're going through you will help them get through it and they're not alone. For Go in Calgary, I'm Karen Coppitz.